Hello friends, I'm Meghna Thomas and welcome back to our channel, Golden Eplets Aviation Pilot Training Academy, your route to the cockpit. In my video today, we are going to be discussing about something of great importance to all pilots and anybody walking around in the airport. We will be discussing about more of the runway lighting. Various forms of runway lighting may be provided, especially if the runway is used for aircraft movements in less than ILS CAT1 conditions, which require both low visibility procedures and in most cases, specific forms of additional lighting. You have runway exit taxiways, which may be indicated by substitution of one or two of the white runway edge lights with blue ones. The stopway lighting may be used to show the extent of a stopway beyond the designated end of a runway. Red unidirectional edge lights visible only in the direction of runway use are provided at intervals until a further transverse line which marks the end of the stopway. Runway centerline lighting may be provided in which case it will extend to the full length of the runway. It will be white except in the event that color coding is provided in order to indicate the approaching end of the runway. Such color-coded centerline lighting consists of alternating red and white lights beginning at 900 meters from the runway end and these change to continuous red lights for the last 300 meters of the runway. You have touchdown zone lighting which must be provided on runways available for use in low visibility conditions so as to provide enhanced identification of the touchdown area. The method of provision is specified in IKO and Extra 14 Volume 1 that is Aerodrome Design and Operations and the lighting must extend from the landing threshold for either 900 meters or to the midpoint of the runway, whichever is the least. You also have rapid exit taxiway indicator lights, which are also known as the red tills, which may be provided to indicate the distance to go to the nearest rapid exit taxiway. In low visibility conditions, rettles provide useful situational awareness cues to assist in appropriate rates of deceleration and to allow flight crew to concentrate on keeping the aircraft on the runway center line during the landing roll. They usually consist of six yellow lights adjacent to the runway center line, configured as a 3-2-1 sequence spaced 100 meters apart with the single light positioned at 100 meters from the start of the turn for the rapid exit taxiway. You also have the caution zone lighting that may be provided on the ILS equipped runways which do not have centerline lighting. It is provided by replacing the usual white edge lights with the yellow ones for the lesser of the 600 meters or last one third of the lighted runway length available to provide a visual warning the approach runway is ending. You have the landing threshold wing bars which are green but may take various detail forms are sometimes provided if it is considered that the threshold needs accentuating. It must be possible to adjust the intensity of runway lighting so as to be suitable for the full range of horizontal visibility and ambient light in which use of the runway is intended. It must also be compatible with the intensity set for the nearest section of the approach lighting system when such a system is also provided. Flight crew can be expected to request the ATC to adjust the runway lighting intensity in order to ensure that for their particular case, it is of sufficient intensity to be useful but not so bright as to hinder overall visual clarity. While automatic or careful manual control of lighting intensity based upon the degree of available natural light will produce a generally acceptable lighting intensity, the intensity preferred by a particular crew may differ because of variation in pilot eye height above the runway surface or because of the effect of the reflective properties of moisture particles when forward visibility is restricted. Well, this was all about the runway lighting. These are the major lights which are important when you come in for the low visibility procedures. In case you don't see these lights, you go to your alternate aerodrome. I hope you find our videos interesting and keep following our channel for more such videos and updates. What are you waiting for? Come, let's fly!